I'm Daddy Warbox. Hey everybody. Uh, today I'm going to be doing another how-to video except this time I'm going to be talking about OBS and some of the steps you'll need to use in order to set it up for the first time. Um, OBS is Open Broadcaster Software. It's a, it's a tool to take your content and then stream it onto sites like Twitch and uh, it, it's pretty straightforward and easy to use. Um, but it can be a little confusing, especially if you're not technologically, you know, <laughs> um, savvy, but it's okay. Like, it's not that bad. Um, it's this box right here, you know, on the inside, like you see, that's kind of just, it's going to mirror over and over and over because I'm recording OBS with OBS, which it's kind of got this mirror image. So don't, don't, you know, pay too much attention to that. Um, without, you know, without saying too much more let's let's go right into it um, the first thing when you set up OBS is you're gonna want to go into the settings and the, you know this might be different for everybody but you know your general settings English and you can create different profiles and within those profiles you can set all the different settings differently including like your stream key or other things so if you're streaming on multiple different twitch channels or if you are streaming with multiple different like codecs or or setups um you might want to create different profiles but for the average user you can just make one profile and use it for the majority of his things um next is going to be encoding um i have a nvidia card so i use the nvidia codec um the important thing here is going to be your bit rate and your your max bit rate is you need to think about like how much of your bandwidth you're going to allow your stream to use and in order to figure that out you're going to go to speedtest.net okay now you can argue about the reliability of speed test it's good enough to get started but it's speedtest.net you hit the button and it's going to run some tests it's going to ping you on a server and it's going to tell you what your download and upload speed is um i think the average user is like a 15 and 2 and if you're interested in streaming the one thing that you really need to be aware of is your upload speed not your download speed because you're not it's not how fast you can get stuff from the internet down onto your computer it's how fast can you get stuff from from your computer up to the internet and in order to be able to stream content and have it be of a decent quality where it's not stuttering or lagging um, especially if you plan on playing any games that are like graphically intense um, you're, you're gonna want to have a really good upload speed if you have anything below two megabits um, I wouldn't recommend to really even try because I, I did that for some time and it was not really good now you see like I, I have better internet than some um, I pay a premium for that too but we're not going to talk about that but see I have 6.46 megabits so I've got a little bit of, of room um, the average amount is about 2k megabits you know 2 megabits um, 2.5 is pretty common I like to give you know a nice 3,000 because I, I have that that availability in order to do that um, but for most people you want to get as close to two as you can if you can go over that and still have some left over that's great now you don't want to now you saw I had 6.4 you don't want to use your entire upload speed because if you do that you're gonna throttle your internet and then you're gonna have a hard time accessing other things on the internet so um, just something to keep in mind and if you have any questions about like your your bit rate your bit rate um, you can always leave a comment on the video um, or you can visit the Twitch reddit and there are a lot of people there who are always willing to help you set up all right now your broadcast settings this is this is going to be um, you know specific to what it is you're trying to do um, your streaming service obviously there's a lot that are there there's daily motion YouTube um, Twitch is the most common and whatever one you choose you gotta make sure you select it and then you're gonna select a server generally you want to select a server that's closest to you that way there's you know less distance less traffic between you and the, and the server that's gonna upload so I, I live in Ohio I'm going to New York and then your next step is your stream key 
and the stream key is located on Twitch or whatever site that you're using and it's going to be a very long string of randomized digits and then you're going to take that and copy and paste it into here and that's going to basically tell your channel that this computer this program is allowed to upload to it um, so those three things are going to be very very important the rest here you can kind of tinker with auto reconnect if you if you dc um, i highly recommend doing it because there's a lot of times where i don't know maybe there's a storm and I, I might disconnect for like 30 seconds or so and then the stream will just auto connect um, it's really nice and then you want to set a file path in case you're going to be using obs as a recorder like i am right now i'm i'm not actually streaming right now i'm just recording so i know where my my you know files are going to be located because i've specified it right there all right um, video you're going to want to select your video card that you're going to use for streaming and you're going to set your base resolution now this here is it can be really really sketchy um you know your like you see i have my resolution at 1920 to 1080 you know 16 9 aspect ratio so that's high definition but I'm downscaling it to 1536 by 864 because even though I have this this high bit rate um, you know depending on what it is you're trying to stream it can still come out you know really choppy and laggy so what's generally recommended is to try to stream in the resolution of the game that you're playing and then downscale it to 720. 720 um, at 60 frames per second is really considered to be you know, the standard. Because at 720, it's still high de definition. Your viewers can still see a lot of what it is you're, you're trying to show them. Um, and then it comes through in a nice, crisp, clear frame rate. So that's something to keep in mind. I, I went a little bit higher just because I can't, but you know, that's just me. Um, for audio, I mean, you just set it to your speakers, your microphone. Um, you may have to initialize it the first time and I mean really that's just it I don't use push to talk but in you know for some people um, that might be more preferable you know audio is pretty straightforward and then um, your hotkeys you can you know if you want to set a button so that when you hit that that button combination it'll start recording or it'll talk this is where you set that Again, this isn't something that is necessary. You can see all of mine are set to none, except for my, sometimes, you know, like I, I have I have kids, I have a wife, and they don't always understand, you know, I'm streaming at the moment, and they might come in and wanna say something to me that might be private. So I like to have my mic mute available so that I can talk to them and not have everybody know my business. Um, but this is all this is all a preference. The only important things you need to know in order to get set up are, you know, your, your codecs, your broadcast settings and then your video uh, resolution all right um, after that there's a couple other things that you can that you can do like the scene switcher um, and I might get into that in a later video because that's a little bit more advanced but for all for now that's all we're gonna do okay so you're all set up you're ready to stream now what you need to do is you need to start adding things to your to your scenes okay now you see on mine I have a bunch of scenes here already I have one for League of Legends I have two for League of Legends I got one for when I stream on extra life I got one that I just use for generally everything that's his main display that I'm using now I have one that I use for a while and I have one for when I'm going AFK on stream um, you can set scenes for whatever you want and it's it, it's all about how detailed you want to make it like me um most games i'll stream on this main display because i got this kind of general you know little box down here that i can put on any game and it'll be okay uh, but for some games i make it a little bit more interesting so um in order to add a scene and you're gonna have to do this no matter what um just because when you open it your box here will be empty you're gonna right click and you'll get this pop-up and you're gonna hit add scene and you can add a name for it and we'll, we'll just we'll call this the test scene and then now you see it's this black box that's because we're we're on this scene it's highlighted but there's nothing added to it so we switch back to the main display and I wanted to switch this so I can show you what I'm gonna do um, I'm gonna go to our test again remember it's just this black screen um, but in the black screen on the right side I'm going to right click and then add and this is how you add sources into a scene so that you know it's not just a black screen um, so that you know the the program will capture whatever it is you're trying to use 
So I would go add, and then we'll just make it really simple. We'll do monitor capture, and then it's gonna ask which screen it is I wanna save, and I would hit okay. So I'm gonna do that right now, but I'm gonna do it on the actual scene we were working in. So here it is, here's our black screen. In the sources box, I right click, add monitor capture, and there it is. Now, see here we are, test, and now we have this, this picture. Um, and if you wanted to add something else in, like if I wanted to add text, it's the same process. Sources, right click, add, text, and then you here's a setting screen. I wanted to say, I don't know, donor goal or whatever. And right now we're at zero of a hundred. Mm. And then there it is. It's up there, and we can move that around to the top, bottom, change the font, whatever it is that we need to do. Um, now, if ever you have things here in your sources and you want to change their properties, you just, again, right-click and you click Properties, and then this settings screen will pop up, and that's for anything. The monitor capture, I can go Properties, and I can change what's here. Um, so whenever you add a source, and just take a minute, read that, that property screen, and you could you know customize it to however it is that you want um, and there's a lot of things that you can do here um, there's adding images which is how you add all those overlays that that you see people use like for me um, I actually I've created several and uh, see there's a couple here a couple there um, this is the one I typically use and you see it's real hunk and big but you know, we just shrink it down to whatever size we need and there now my overlay will always appear over whatever um, if I want my camera to be on there it would be video capture device but I already have it set in my global sources which I believe we talked about hey and we're gonna shrink this guy back down so he fits inside that box like so um, you know that's really it these are just the basics to try and show you guys what the program is capable of um, but just give me a, a like us follow me uh, on YouTube and um, there'll be more of these videos to help you you know learn how to use this program and set up a pretty decent looking stream and then as always if you have any questions you could always leave it in the comments and I'll do my best to answer them the best I can all right everybody um, thanks for taking the time to look at this good luck